All right. Hey there, social media world. It's James Bondurant. Been uh, posting some videos here and there. You guys know about me from car racing, and more recently we got some music about to come out. But I decided it's time to start doing a daily video, and I want to start by sharing my testimony and my relationship with God. And I'm excited to share it with fellow believers to build more faith in you, uh, to show the testimony that God is real. But I'm also really excited to share with you unbelievers or, or people that don't know God per se. I believe that a lot of you that don't believe in God, you want to believe in God. And that you want to believe in something better, but it, it's, it's hard to. And uh, I understand that because I went through the same thing myself. And it's been a blessing what God's done in my life and just the good things He's done for my life. And I just want to share that news with the people around me. So, to start off with video one, I want to share my testimony. Alright, so to share my story, it's it's an interesting one. You know, I my grandfather's a world champion race car driver, and my dad was a champion race car driver. And uh, from a, a small little boy, I always knew that I was gonna be a race car driver like my father and my grandfather. I was raised not around them, uh, per se, for most of my childhood, you know, I was raised with my mother in a, in a pretty poor uh, household. So the opportunity, I couldn't play baseball, couldn't do a lot of things. Say so about 11 years old, my dad, uh, he actually jumped into my life and bought me some dirt bikes. Got me a dirt bike, bought himself a bike, and we uh, we began racing together. And man, that was that was a, a huge thing for me to finally have a father in my life. There was a gap there that was just missing, and uh, so it was exciting, you know. And and uh, at 17, I, I got behind the wheel of a car, and I knew I wanted to be a race car driver. That was where my skill sets lie. So I put everything into that, and in that chase. To be a race car driver professionally, there was a hard lesson learned. And that lesson is, there's more to life than just being talented and getting your dreams. There's a lot of hard work, fighting through politics in life. There's a lot more to it. The main thing I would say is, is pushing through failures in life. So, you know, I had been offered some deals to even drive an Indy Lights car. They wanted 250000 and unfortunately, I just didn't have that. So, you know, at the age of 20, I, I got into a dark place because it was heartbreaking to know that money was the only thing I needed to fix my life, right? It didn't matter how talented I was, but I needed that money to go racing. And uh, it was just a hard deal. So, I, I fell. Never, never really drank or party but I did I was I was in a dark place and within a matter of months I'd really made a bad turn in my life well when you know it I was walking the streets and this dude randomly gave me a Bible and I was at a rock bottom place and I I didn't get you know to me I always thought God was a joke it just to me all you know, I'm a bonder on. I'm I'm going to do it. It's by my steam. I'm going to work hard. Me, 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 right? Well, you know, I had a rock bottom place. I read that Bible one night and wouldn't you know it, it made sense. And the book of James was really the book. It's the shortest book in the Bible and it just made sense. It was very clear to me. And so I I wrote a letter to God in that moment, put it in my bag fold it up in the Bible and walk away. I'm walking down the streets of Phoenix, Arizona very early in the morning and I walk past a car accident. This black man comes out of the accident looking at me, pointing at me, speaking in tongues, which I didn't even know what that is. And for those of you that don't know what tongues is, it's a spiritual language that only God can really understand. Uh, but this man comes at me explaining how there were 
demons or, or the enemy was trying to attack me and that God had a plan for my life to prosper. So, Christmas Eve, accept the Lord into my heart, go back to my home Santa Cruz, find out Santa Cruz, see right there, that's my shirt, Santa Cruz, my hometown where I grew up, means Holy Cross. And all of a sudden, things became so real to me, I was so excited. As a matter of fact, the day I accepted the Lord in my heart, my first name is actually Robert. I was named after my grandfather and my father, and I'm, you know, I, we all have different middle names, so I'm not technically Robert III, but I was the third Robert Bonron in our family. My middle name was James. So at that moment, I accepted James to be my name because James means supplanter, Robert means famous, and I just love the idea of God being my father. He's my spiritual father. It was the acceptance of my spiritual father on my life. Within a year, I was traveling the world, going to Japan, drifting, doing TV shows. God just threw a lot on me. He, he had me. I was sitting in mansions, driving Ferraris, hanging out with Snoop and all these characters and getting some pretty cool opportunities in life. Now, again, going back to that politic thing, you know, I, I had a vision to get past all this politics, you know, to me, my heart wants something truth, not fake and phony. There's a lot of fake and phony stuff in this world, you know it, and I know it, whether you're a believer or not, we all know there's a lot of fake stuff out in this world, and so I wanted to stand for something good and righteous and true, and uh, drifting was my opportunity that God gave me. Drifting was very phony. Uh, it was very political. It was very guided by money and, and powers of the world. And there were opportunities for me to sell out. And I didn't do it. I fought against the politics. Again, I had a, a lot of good things happen, but ultimately I was banned from professional drifting. Okay? So a lot of people, when I got banned from professional drifting, a lot of people go, oh man, he's done, he's cooked. Matter of fact, I ended up going back to Santa Cruz with my tail between my legs going, what's next in life? And uh, I decided to go out to a dirt track and uh, I'm in Santa Cruz at my local track. I'm seeing all these race car drivers in a sprint car and there was this young 19 year old kid named Kyle Larson who I watch and I go, man, I gotta race that kid. I gotta race the Katings and all these Hall of Famers and amazing race car drivers in the sprint car world. So I began to become a youth pastor at church. I'm living at the body shop, putting every cent I have into building a sprint car and racing. And God bless me. We were on the cover of the local newspaper talking about God. I was bringing my youth kids to the races and. Uh, it was a very blessed time. We even did a program, Hot Rods for Kids, where we were helping hospice care for, for children. And uh, it, it was quite a blessed time in my life. So while people were thinking, James Bonneron is over, he's done, little did we know, I was actually hiding out in hometown racing all the best drivers and soon to be top driver in NASCAR. You know, Kyle is one of the best out there in NASCAR. So it was exciting, exciting. And so, you know, there's been this struggle on my life to get past that, to get those sponsors, to break through this deal. And in this process, God's grown me, really just grown me, gone into my heart. And I'm here to tell you, your heart is the key to growing with God. And for those of you that are confused and maybe you want to know God, but you see all this stuff in the church that's negative, and I'm not going to deny it. There's a lot of negative stuff with Christianity. But listen, I'm not God. I fall. I make mistakes. The church is not God. They make mistakes. We are not perfect. If you look in the Bible, if you were to look at, at Bible characters, go back to Moses imperfect he failed he killed a man 
David committed adultery. He may have defeated Goliath, but he committed adultery. Okay, Paul, after Christ was born, Paul was killing Christians and God used him. Okay, so there's only one man that walked the earth and lived the perfect life, and that is our Lord Savior Jesus Christ. Now, he wasn't called Jesus at the time, so people get all confused, Jesus, this, that. If you want, you can call him Yeshua. You know, people get caught up in the name, and I'm here to tell you, it's, it's more important that you're putting your foundation and your faith in God and giving your heart to Him so that He can lift you up. Now, the key to doing this, uh, church is an avenue. It will bring you closer. The Bible, really important. It is a tool that we can use to get closer to God. Now, there are different versions of the Bible. NIV, King James, and this, you know, thou with, and this and that. It is hard for me to understand the Bible. The Holy Spirit is what guides us. The Holy Spirit is the third part. There's our Father God, the Son Jesus, who lived that perfect life, who was a man, walked the earth, and was ascended into heaven. And there's the Holy Spirit. That's our guiding force. It's the Holy Spirit speaks truth into the Bible. Because at the end of the day, man wrote the Bible, but the Spirit must move us in it. So, I read the Passion Version. It's a newer version that just came out a few years ago. It was done by a man that went back to the Aramaic writings. And to me, it just it's the most easiest to understand. But, uh, most importantly, you want to know the Lord. Talk to Him. Prayer is is the number one thing to bring you to the Lord, okay? So if you're curious and you want to know and you're, you're going, man, I want to know if God is real, Don't you don't need to talk to me. I mean, you could go find a pastor. And, and again, this is guidance. This is going to help you. Having good Christian people that know the Lord in spirit is going to guide your life. But at the end of the day, it's that relationship and asking God to reveal Himself to you. Now, if you go into a quiet place by yourself and you speak out loud and you ask for the Lord to reveal Himself, be prepared. He's going to. And in that moment, it's an opportunity to give your heart to the Lord. And, and when we give our heart to the Lord, we're just saying, God, I see you. I see how real you are. I want your heart to, I want your life and your heart to rule in my heart so we just asking the Lord to enter our lives to enter our heart and that heart is the key now the mind is important too the soul there's a lot of other parts but getting him into your heart and praying daily all those other things will come together because God reads our hearts and he'll guide us to the right people the right things to guide our future but the greatest news I have today is what God has for your life. All right, I'd like to end this video by reading a little scripture from the Passion Version of the Bible out of the book of James, right at the beginning here. My fellow believers, when it seems as though you are facing nothing but difficulties, see it as an invaluable opportunity to experience the greatest joy that you can. For you know that when your faith is tested, it stirs up power within you to endure all things. I just want to pause for a second. The last name Bondurant, actually Bond means good and Durant means endure. So it's kind of cool, you know, I changed my name to James and didn't even know the whole Bondurant thing I was looking at. Good endurance, we're, we're meant to endure. So I say all that, a name is important and we're, we, we choose our names and we live out what God's given us. And then, as your endurance grows even stronger, it will release perfection into every part of your being until there's nothing missing and nothing lacking. And if anyone longs to be wise, ask God for wisdom and He will give it. He won't see your lack of wisdom as an opportunity to scold you over your failures, but we, He will overwhelm your failures with His generous grace. Just make sure you ask and
empowered by confident faith without doubting that you will receive. For the ambivalent person believes one minute and doubts the next. Being undecided makes you become like the rough seas driven and tossed by the wind. So, you know, we know the book of James is saying here that we need to have faith that God will uh, conquer all things and that when we are asking in prayer, He'll do it. So those of you that are new to the Lord, just be real with God. And when you ask Him for anything, just to reveal Himself to you, He's going to do it. And that's between you and God. You talking directly to the Maker. And for those of us believers, it's important that we're not living double-minded as the world lives. That we're single-minded in the Lord in the way that we're thinking. And that's not an easy task. The enemy is always going to come and throw those fiery darts. We put on that helmet of salvation. We wear it strong. And we know that God has a plan for our life. And faith, my friends, can move mountains and give us the blessings of our lifetime. And people that see me get banned, they go, Oh, James, you gone all these hardships listen I am amazingly blessed I've got so many blessings my cup is over full with God's glory for my life and you know I really just want the world to know it's not about you know the racing is cool the music's great all this stuff's great but it's what God has for our life it's just for you it's for personally for you and he's gonna give you things that are treasures for you. When we build that relationship, he's going to take you to such places just for you. So again, I, I thank you for listening to this video and more to come. I'm excited for the racing in 2020 with Bonneron Motorsports. I'm excited to be with IMA Entertainment. We've got our first song, Drive, coming out people want to hear that song and we you know we just wait for the right time to release it i'll give you a, a little teaser right now okay last line of the song throttle on the floor hang the finger out the door okay and i'll let you think about what that means okay throttle on the floor we're giving it everything we got and who we giving it to all right guys